From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. And happy Labor Day. It is Monday, September 7th. I'm Kevin Hogan. Connecticut beaches are packed for the holiday today. At Silver Sand State Park in Milford, they reached capacity and closed off the parking lots just for afternoon. The Connecticut Department of Health issuing an alert for the Labor Day weekend after seeing a cluster of COVID-19 cases stemming from summer cookouts and also among college kids. With Connecticut's COVID numbers looking a lot better, though, than most states, leaders here don't want to surge. A Cromwell man is facing charges after a sh he shot and killed a neighbor's dog. Police say 31-year-old Barnsley Monfilston admitted to shooting Jessica Aurelio's one-year-old dog on Sunday. She and her boyfriend's son were there when it all happened. Nobody should feel unsafe in their neighborhood, and nobody at 11 years old should have to see a man pull out a gun and shoot their dog. Philston is now facing several charges, including cruelty to animals and unlawful discharge of a firearm. He's also charged with two counts of risk of injury to a minor. He was released after his arrest, and he's now due in court on December 1st. Financial relief for Eversource customers could be coming. Hearings on how the utility company responded to Tropical Storm Isaias and their recent bill increases continues tomorrow. Lawmakers want Eversource to put up some $500 in the hands of those who lost power for more than 72 hours to pay for lost food as well as medicine. After 72 hours, it would also give all customers a $125 credit for each day without power. The hearing resumes tomorrow and public comment is expected to take up the majority of that day. On begins on September 22nd, but we are going to be feeling some midsummer warmth over the coming days. Highs in the 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It's going to be dry Tuesday and Wednesday with partly mostly sunny skies after some morning fog. Then the Thursday, there is a chance for a shower or thunderstorm, a high of 86. We'll have some dry, refreshing weather Friday and Saturday. And then our next chance for showers and storms will come on Sunday with a high of 78. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.